You should always start out with a base and the one that I'm using is my go-to and it's Sigma's eyeshadow base in Persuade. I like this one because it helps cancel out any discoloration. And then I'm going to be using this Makeup Addiction Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette and the first color that I'm going to be using is this like rich warm brown color and I'm going to take it with my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to blend that into the crease. As my transition color, this color is very pigmented so I'm doing it very lightly. Then I'm going to take this dark cool brown color from the palette with my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to apply that, kind of packing it on first in the outer corner and then blending it out a little bit and then packing it on the inner corner and blending that out and kind of blending it into the crease but I don't want the two ends to touch and I kind of want to leave a space on in between my eyelid. So I'm kind of just basically packing it on, blending it, packing it on, blending it. And then I'm going to take a Coastal Sense brush, blending brush, and then make sure that's all blended out. Before I add that center color, I'm going to add a little bit of black and I'm using Sugar Pills Bulletproof Shadow with a small brush and I'm kind of just packing that on along the edges. And then I'm going to take that same Sigma brush and I'm going to blend that black into the brown color. For the center color of my eyelid, I'm going to use this light shimmery color, the lightest color from the palette. And I'm going to pack that on with the Motives brush. And this, you can just stop here if you really wanted because this color is so pigmented and pretty that it looks fine on its own. But I'm going to add a little bit of glitter on top of that to make it sparkle just a little bit more. So I'm using Violet Voss's um, glitter adhesive. And I'm just going to use that with a synthetic flat brush and I'm going to apply it just very lightly to over that center color that I put on. And then I'm going to take Violet Voss's glitter and I'm going to apply that just where I used the glitter glue. And, and then for my lower lash line I took a small brush and ran a little bit of that cool brown color as close to my lash line as possible. I don't want to go too far down. And then I took a Sigma E30 pencil brush and used that warmer brown color that we, I used in the beginning and I blended that out. Then I took Sigma's Wicked Gel Eyeliner because it, for my waterline because it's a little bit more intense than just a pencil. And then for bronzer, I'm going to use the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. This one's from Motives. And I'm just going to run that like basically around my face, my cheekbones, my forehead, um, under my chin. Just real quickly, not really like taking my time or focusing on any like contouring. I just kind of try to give myself a little bit of color. And then for highlighter, I took the Anastasia Starlight and So Hollywood and mixed them together. And this brush I'm using is actually by Anastasia as well. I'm not sure of the number. I'll check and have it listed below. And then for blush, I used the Aurora Powder from Sigma. It's not called Aurora Powder. The name of this color is something De Rosa. I'll have that listed below. And then for lips, I used a lip liner by Motives and it's called Naked. I, it's so pretty, I don't know why I don't use it more often. And I actually had a different lip set for this look, but then I got the Dose of Colors Bear With Me lipstick and I was like, oh my god, I need to use this because it's so pretty. And I used, so I used that one and it's really, really pretty. I really, really love this color.